Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll talk about where args. So before starting with where args, let me go with an example. So let's say we have a class here, and the name of the class is the uh, we have display. So we have a class here which is display. Okay. In this display class, I have a method called as show. Simple. Now the only work of this method show is to accept a parameter from user. So let's say int a, and just to display the value. So we'll say display the value. That's it. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it very simple. So we have a class display here, which has a method show. It takes some parameter, let's say one, which is a here, and it prints it. That's it. Now, in order to call that display, we have to say display. Uh, we'll say obj equal to new display here. And let's call that show method. So we can say obj.show and here we can pass a value let's say 5 cool so if you pass this value 5 it will send this value 5 in a and we are printing the value right now let's run this so if i run this you can see the value is 5 but let's say i want to pass two values so one is 5 second is 6. so in that scenario we don't have any method which prints which takes two parameters so in this scenario, what we'll do is we'll go for method over loading in which we have uh, two methods with the same name but different parameters. So what we'll do is we'll say int a comma b and we'll print both the elements here. So we'll press out and b. So we are printing a and we are printing b. Simple. But let's say I have uh, three, uh, three parameters here. So again, we have to repeat the same task, right? The problem here is if you don't know how many values user will be sending, then we have to, you know, we have, it is very difficult to predict uh, or we have to define all the methods. So let's say if user passing only one parameter. So you need a method with only one parameter. If user pass two arguments, so you require two parameters. If user pass three arguments, so we have to, you know, depend upon the number of arguments, you have to specify number of parameters here. So, Java came up with a concept called as, so instead of it, writing all this thing, we can use something called as where args. So there is something called as where args. Now where args stands for it is variable, so variable arguments. Now what it says is, if you don't know how many parameters user will, how many uh, values user will be sending, so you can just use an array, right? So you can specify int, and a with an array. So this array a will occupy all these values. But hold on, it's not working, right? We can still say there's an error. If you can pass these values in array format in a, it will work, right? So even if you pass one element, it will accept. Even if you pass two elements, it will accept. Even if you pass 10 elements, it will accept. But it's not working here. The problem is, if, if Java says, okay, we, I will work with this, then how about if you're passing an array from that? Okay, so it will be confusing. It will be confusing, right? And that's why Java came with a new syntax, which says, after this int, just specify three dots. So if you specify three dots here, which simply says, I don't know how many parameters this will be sending, so accept everything which is, which is coming. But, but make sure everything will, will be of same type int. Cool? So if you send five, six, and seven, everything will be will be coming in this A. Now, since we have multiple values in one element here, so this is not a normal element, it's an array now. So in order to print values of array, we can use the enhanced for loop here. So we'll say for int i in A, and we can use a curly brackets here. Okay, and instead of printing A, I will print i. Now, if you pass three values, these three values will be going to A, and then from a i'll be fetching one element at a time and if you run this now so if i say run you can see the answer is five six and seven cool how about if i pass eight values and if i run this so you can see we have sorry not eight values four values so it will print those four values and we are passing values as five six seven and eight let's do an experiment what about if i pass 8.0 so if 8.0 is double so we don't have anything double here so it will not work here. So it will, it only needs uh, the similar type of elements here. 
Now, uh, let me do some experiment. Let's say if I define one more method for method overloading, so we'll say public void show, and this void show accept only one value, which say a. Okay, and it's print the value of a here. Cool. And with a, let me print uh, in in show a. So I have I'm just printing this message, which is in show a. Now, if I pass four parameters, which method it will call? The int array or a. So let's try with this. So if I run this, of course, it will print int array, right? It's because we are passing four values. How about only one parameter? Now, what it will print? Since even if you write one, even if you don't have this, so if I come in this part, and if you run this now, so it says five. That means it is running this code here. But how about if I remove the comment? And if I run this, it shows it shows five in show A. That means if you pass a value, initially it will search for a method with the exact signature. If it is not there, then it will search for the where args. Okay, so point to remember, whenever you work with where args, it will always give priority to the exact number of elements and then only, then only it will go for the where args. Cool. So that's how we can use where args. Then you, your question will be where you will implement this uh, where args. So there's something called as, you know, uh, in, uh, in the class called as array. So there's a, there's a method called as arrays. There's a method called as as list. So if we can see this as list method, which takes the number of element, and we can see there's three dots here, which simply specify this as list method is, it supports where args. Okay, so there are lots of implementation of where args. So you can you can implement this in your project also. Cool, so that's that's all about where args. So I hope this uh, video helped you. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.